tell you about the exciting things going on at Temple Heights. We made this project entirely on our iPads to show you what we've been doing. We currently have iPads in a 1 to 1 ratio in kindergarten, 4th, and 5th grade. 3rd grade has Chromebooks 1 to 1. More grade levels will be getting iPads soon. Can you believe that? have one-to-one -one iPads in several grade levels. What does that mean? It means that I have my own iPad. 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 I have an iPad. I have an iPad. I have an iPad. And I have an iPad. We all have iPads! I can do so much more now than I ever could before with my iPad available all day. What's BYOD? It means I get to bring my own iPad to school. If we bring in our own iPad, the school will load their apps on it for us. We keep a digital portfolio of all our projects in Google Drive. Everything we create, including movies, presentations, screencasts, iBooks, mini lessons, essays, performance tests, and PDF files all get stored in our drives where we share them with our teacher and classmates. Google Docs helps us collaborate with each other. We share documents with our partners and then write together on a common assignment. We can share ideas and get more done this way. We also use Google Docs for peer editing. Our partners leave comments on our writing to make suggestions for more improvement. Reading is so much fun on our iPads because we have collaborative book clubs. While I'm reading with the class, I can post a question I have about the reading and someone will respond back to me right away. I can also look up words I don't know with one touch. Our teacher is always telling us to support our statements with text evidence. It's simple with books and subtext. I can highlight important information and then use it as evidence in my writing. Everything we need is right at our fingertips. We have projects called performance tasks and all of the resources can be found on our devices. We view several articles, watch videos, look at graphs, do research on the internet, and then pull it all together in a final project. The iPads make it so easy. Fifth graders get to take their school-owned iPads home. We must be the responsible ones. Homework on the iPad? I actually want to do it. Really. No, really. Look at some of the homework we just did. This right here is 3 and 1 6. And right over here is 1 and 4 6. That is coming on. So what's happening now is they are making the groups. So we're, it's the one is taking it out. But there's not another one, so you have to borrow from this hole. So then we are going to subtract the ones. The ones brings it down. And we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6. Or it could be 1 whole and 3, 6. The bracelet is 1 and 3, 6 inches long. And the double cross. Subtracting break. mixed numbers with regrouping, part 3, by Keiko. Five eighths, I have to regroup. I can regroup by adding one whole eight eighths to four eighths. And I could move the eight eighths by itself. And when I do that, four and twelve eighths is equal, is equal to Five and four eighths because four and eight eighths. I think having to explain my thinking in model one problem completely is so much better than doing a worksheet every night. It's even easy to turn in our homework using a Google form that our teacher gives us. When we submit it that way, the project gets shared with our teacher and we can quickly double check to make sure it was turned in. We can see our grade and view our friend's work too. There's so much going on around here. Come by and visit Temple Heights anytime.